on the streets that spawned a revolution known as the Arab Spring. Military still guard the statue on the Grand Avenue where it all started. Tunisia, 12 years after the pro-democracy movement is calm, but the quality of life is actually worse. Severe poverty, an economy near collapse, and a parliament in peril makes the recent election of Serene Morabat even more remarkable. At 33, she represents a region with the highest crime rate in the capital. The desperate and disillusioned are now taking a chance that she will do better. Is it difficult to be a woman in parliament? There's we have just uh, 25 women in parliament. So it's, it will be difficult, but it will be uh, a challenge to prove that women can, can, can do it. Can do it. <laughs> Down the alleyways of Tunis, everyone has an ask for their new MP. What does he want? To work. To work. Yes, find the work. It's hard to find work. Here, yes. Promises not easy to keep when the neighborhood grocery stores can't even keep the basics. On ne parle pas de confort et de luxe, on parle de le minimum des choses. Travailler, avoir les rues. So they don't want luxury, they want food. Essential. Bread. Yes. What do they want? Food, uh, bread, uh, uh, milk. We don't have milk in Zour Sijomi. Uh, education. Uh, school. Les essentiels. Life. Life. C'est pas facile. Oui, ils veulent vivre. Mourabet's win was also a victory for Canadian media development organization, Journalists for Human Rights, and their work with Global Affairs Canada here in Tunisia to empower the media to normalize the idea of women in leadership roles. We give them um, the ABC of uh, how, uh, what does it mean? Uh, first of all, uh, women uh, rights, human rights uh, issues, uh, how to choose uh, subject, how to treat subject with uh, numbers, with um, going to, uh, to leaders, to political leaders. Getting female candidates on the talk show circuit increased the profile of faces rarely even considered for politics in the past. Or covering politics. JHR trainer Hulud Maburuk began her life as a journalist one month before the revolution under total government censorship. Before the revolution and after the revolution, what's changed? The sense of freedom of expression is change, make change. Tout a changé. Now she's the only woman to host a politics show in all of Tunisia at a time when government stability is once again blurry, as she puts it, leaving voters disillusioned and disengaged. The last election had a record low turnout of only 11 percent, a barometer for this country's stalled transition to democracy. A shift is showing in strategic places. In its first two years here, JHR has trained over 140 journalists to help strengthen human rights reporting for the future, which now includes both the country's first woman prime minister and first woman mayor of a capital city in the Arab world. Suad Abdurrahim is proud to point to her name as the latest on a centuries-old roster of the men who ran Tunis, and a major milestone after decades of authoritarian rule ended with the uprising. People are afraid of a woman leader, she says. They're not used to it, but I'm working with other women to help close the gap. It's a shared goal to build a more inclusive, democratic future for a country in which, historically, half the population, women, have been shut out. Lisa Laflamme, Tunisia. <laughs>